Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Terra Nil, a sort of reverse city builder that I'm extremely excited to be checking out the full version of here today. I played the demo about two years ago, and I really loved it. I am so excited to be playing the full thing now. It's developed by Free Lives, the creators of Broforce, and published by Devolver Digital, which are just wild facts when you see the game you're about to see. But let's pop on in. It's about kind of restoring a wasteland and turning it into a lush ecosystem filled with all kinds of life. Basically, using city builder structures to make that happen, though. Kind of like a resource management form. Ecosystem, the beginner's guide to ecosystem restoration. Okay. This book serves as a guide to the intricate process of restoring an environment from a wasteland to a thriving ecosystem. The process is not always easy, and even with this guide, you will need to experiment to understand exactly what needs to be done. In the pages that follow, you'll find descriptions of the region's flora and fauna that you're likely to encounter. The book also contains blueprints of machines and structures that will help you on your task. If you are successful, you'll eventually no longer need this book, and when that happens, I ask that you pass it along, that it may serve someone else. Good luck with your journey of restoration. Ooh. Oh, so I can't click the tabs right now. Select your approach. Gardener, ecologist, environmental engineers. It's just difficulty. Players seeking a more relaxing experience. Strategy game experience. Not recommended for a first playthrough. I can, I, I can take a hint. Let's go for it. To begin with, some basics. Pan the camera by moving the mouse cursor along the edge of the screen. Alternatively, you can press and hold the middle mouse button, try it now, or WASD. Gotcha. I like that one. Try zooming out, in and out with the mouse wheel. Oh boy. Any wasteland reclamation project should start with a turbine. Select and place one now. Provides energy, requires a stone. Boop. Now that you have electricity, you can clean the soil. Try to fit four toxin scrubbers as far from the turbine as possible. Provides blep, requires blip. Cleanses nearby wasteland of toxins converting into, into fertile soil. I love the little music notes that play when you just... This is so gentle. Some buildings can be rotated with R on the mouse wheel, and I'm losing my voice. One second. Select the irrigator and try this now. Okay. Why do we... Oh, okay. We need to rotate it because it has different angles. Clean soil provides the perfect place to grow greenery. Greenery is used uh, to provide resources that are used to create buildings. Construct three irrigators on the clean soil. Gotcha. So we're trying to, like... Snap it into spots that are going to cover the most ground, like Tetris. Gotcha. And interestingly, yeah, we can also just do a straight line. If you're ever lost, you can always look in the handbook for hints about what to do next. Increasing the landscape's greenery is your primary goal, but remember to keep an eye on your available resources. To begin with, get the greenery target to 30%. Okay. So, theoretically, minus 50, we have, we have that there. However, we can only build this on the fertile soil. We can only put the fertile soil here. So, I think the implication is that we need to, um, possibly cover some extra ground here. Even if it doesn't look as efficient. If we're just trying to squeak it up to 30 there. Oh, the stinking tree. Covers the full thing. That's 29. Why? If I'm just trying to squeak it, like, to that tiny little bit, I guess I could just do this. I hate it. It's not very efficient, but... We'll do it for now. I guess maybe I'll 
grab a couple of those. And then we'll drop this one in the middle more so. There we go. <clears throat> Terra Nil! Okay, reclaim 132 more greenery tiles to unlock this. So we have plenty of resources here. We can just pop down another one of these bad boys. Get these as far away as they are going to logically go. Can't put it up here. I will be kind of sad if we don't get every, like, every stinking inch. Okay. That actually seems pretty effective. And now we cover as much as we can. Recover what we can, nice and zen. Perfect. And then we'll just pop that in there. We got a water pump. Pumps water to fill a dry riverbed. Riverbanks are cleansed by the water. Range is extended by elevation. So that's within the range. So this is the only spot we can put it, huh? Requires electricity and... Okay, so is the issue that this probably doesn't quite reach out there? Extended by elevation. How elevated is this right here? Is this just... It's hard to tell from the perspective. This is uh, probably just one block up. When we could maybe get a two block up. By doing something like this. Eh. Let's just see. We'll go with what we got. Oh, look at that. What do we got here? Calcifier provides stone, requires water. Ah, but of course. So we can, like, we can create our own stone in some of these spots that maybe otherwise aren't really going to be hit too easily. Let's do that. Perhaps I could get up here? I can, good. As long as one of the tiles is in there, you're good to go. We're missing... Yeah, we're missing one. No matter what, we're going to be missing one. That's kind of awkward. Oh, well. Do what we can. We had, um, we had more power here anyways. So this is, we could have probably just put it up here instead. It would have been slightly better. Don't want to drop too much of it in the water and have it just kind of be a little useless. One fifty nine. I think we do want to just be more efficient. I like in my head. I'm like, I want to cover every single tile, but I think that isn't how we're s supposed to be operating this. I think we need to be like, what's the most efficient usage first, and then hopefully we can also get another situation going. Um, so we got this. I do like the idea of popping down the calcifier, the water pump. It's theoretically more effective here. Spreads out a bit further. Gotcha. Oh, look at that. 
Look at that. All right, we have plenty of, uh, of extra energy that we can do here. We do want to just do these out as far as possible. Cover most of it. Is there an optimal way to play? I'm sure there is, like, you can, like, find a perfectly optimal way to run it all. But I feel like, I'm not going to say it defeats the purpose. Because I would say that that's not true. Because you can play with different purposes. But, um, I think that I just kind of like playing it in a sort of more zen way. Just, like, slowly filling out all that space is really, really nice to me. Can I, uh, can I catch all these? It's only plus 27. It's missing out on a little bit there. Okay. Can catch the stray stuff on this one. This is a pretty good chunk of it. And we can pop that one in the corner nice and easy. Ooh, 100%. <laughs> okay. Once the backbone of the ecosystem is thriving, your next step is to increase the diversity of growing plants. Introduce... What? Finbos? <laughs> Finbo baggins, wetlands, and forests. You'll also need to begin to pay attention to the local climate. Buildings, animals, undiscovered. Lots of undiscovered. Locked, locked, locked. If you're lost, please look at the book. Locked, locked, locked. <laughs> Find us. One moment. Finbos. That sounds wrong. <laughs> uh, Finbos. All right. Excavator creates a new riverbed, but poisons the land around it. Can be rotated. Gotcha. may be needed. Crystallizes nearby. I mean... Okay. Technically, it's going to be a little bit more optimal. Beehive. Swarming bees pollinate nearby greenery, creating finbos. Flowers. Okay. Uh, creates wetland. Must be built on an irrigator near water on low ground. So what do we want to be making? Is that, like... Is that a personal preference? I feel like it might be, uh... Might be up to me. Just like we want to... We want to pick. I do really like that. I think I may be more of a... Of a wetlands man myself. So, hold on. Must be built on an irrigator near water on low ground. So this is not near enough to water. Is that the idea of that? I suppose that's the idea. Is that it just wasn't close enough there? We'll take a look here. Let's let's pop this one or not? Uh, not this one. Let's get. Um, maybe we'd need one of these. Not to mention an excavator. I guess we'll probably need to do some excavator stuff in order to fix things up truly. Is there anything we can do up here? Is this good? Yeah, that's wetlands. All right. Um, so excavator. I, you know, it's, it's a tricky one. It ruins the land for a bit. But it does let us get a lot more wetlands. So we'll pop it down first. And I know you may be thinking right here, like, well, what the hell? It's about fixing the environment. Don't worry. You have you are responsible for fixing up all of the damage that you did here. And when you're done with it, you're even gonna be packing up all of the uh the materials. 
You get to pack up all of your equipment that you use to turn it in. It's going to all get just get boxed up and shipped out, and you're left with just the beautiful nature scene that you created. Um, water pump, not great here, but works fine. So yeah, do we... We don't need to place... Do we need to place this on... Fertile soil? I suppose maybe we don't. Let's try the, that out first. Let's do this. Yeah, I guess that's the thing. Because you don't have to, but boy, it does seem like it's going to be more logical. Ah. <sighs> Because we'll do it in this order. We'll pop down this first. And then we use the Toxin Scrubber again afterwards. To give ourselves another way to fix it up. Toxin Scrubber. Looks good. This would be nice and uh, by water as well. 117. Sixty there. We could do like a Okay, well first first of all, let's get the water pump. This is what it was for. Should create a hell of a lot of water. Hell of a lot of a water. Which can then, in turn, give us some grassland stuff. This is not low ground, though. Okay, this will work. Ah, shoot. <clears throat> We've used up our power. So we would need to put down another... You could do a calcifier, I suppose. Which lets us kind of extend it out. Oh, too close to another turbine. Did not know that was a thing. Okay. Live and learn. Live and learn. 49, I saw 59, 50, 57, I mean, sure. What can I say? I, I want to I wanna get it mostly all the way done. Right. Gonna have to have some be a little suboptimal in order to make that happen. This could probably turn into wetlands. This one can as well. But how much is it? Minus 35. It's really not turning that much into wetlands. We're gonna need more. Apparently we can pop it here. I think that's good. So we can get much further up into the corner. And to be clear, yeah, it'll just convert that little bit. Does it, like, it converts the, the side closest to the water? Is that the idea? I think that might be the case. So we go for an excavator. It's going to destroy, destroy lots of land. Oh, God, we need to do this in different, in a better order. We need to do it in a much better order. Because it's going to undo some of it. Yeah. Absolutely will. You can look at it as an opportunity to just cover more space, though. It's important that I get the stuff by this one. Hmm. So it doesn't need to be the grass. It extends out further. It's, it's now a minus nine instead. 
but it's still a net loss. It, it moves up our wetland meter. Interesting. Fine. I submit. I'll do it. 99. It's quite close to the water. Yeah, so this one's giving us a 23. So it's giving us a net gain in the currency, and it's moving up the wetland meter. Swarm bees pollinate nearby. Do I want to? I want to see 100% wetland first. That's goal number one. I'm assuming this is uh, filled up. This one is not filled up. We could actually... <clears throat> Could do a little bit of river action here, too. If we ran a river right through here... Ooh, baby. Like, it destroys some land for sure, but these are already, like, pre-made for this. Okay. Awkward. It's awkward, but it works. Or I think we're probably more wanting to use up this one. 89. There we go. We got to be... That's filled up all the way. So we want all of them. That's the idea. Okay, good. Good to know. Good. Important to know. Beehive seems so much easier than filling up the wetlands. Oh my god. Just blink and it's done. Uh, solar amplifier. Focus sunlight, allowing for the starting of a controlled burn. Provides sunlight. So what do we need for the force? Is, uh, are we going to need sunlight? Is that the idea? Buildings. I don't know, man. Regions? I would have thought that'd be... I mean, I'm pretty confident we're just going to need to get some sunlight. Create 100 more ashy nutrients to tiles to unlock this. Focus sunlight, allowing the starting of a controlled burn. Alrighty. I'll take your word for it. I'd rather be in radius of this if it... If all if it's all the same. I don't know if it's all the same though. Start a control burn in nearby Finbus. Finbos. <laughs> Fires will burn sparse vegetation, but leave behind nutritious ash. Start a fire here. I mean it's it'll start spreading. Do I want it to spread? How far do I want it to spread, truthfully? Ah, yes. Controlled. Very controlled. Important. Important, important. Reduce the cost of some buildings and unlocks the ability to manipulate the region's climate. I mean, we also... Worth noting, we did destroy our buildings at the same time. That maybe was good. Do they... Buildings need to be by? Now that you've learned the basics of restoration, you need to begin to address the regional climate. Climate is defined by these attributes. Right now we are only interested in humidity, but these will change in the future. Creating or reaching certain thresholds have broad effects on the environment. Okay. Okay. Buildings that grow plants, like the irrigator or beehive, are also affected by regional climate attributes. Ideal conditions, blep. Okay. Many buildings modify the climate slightly, but some, like the cloud cedar, change it significantly. Cultivating the right climate is an important step in reclaiming your journey. Or in your reclamation journey. Good luck. Use the surrounding water and ocean to encourage a cloud formation to increase ambient humidity. <clears throat> okay. 
We got an Arboretum, create, use Nutritious Ash to create forests. Oh, wait, this is totally, like, oh, I, I'm, I'm super happy about my controlled burn being so well controlled. We'll put it that way. Because now we get oodles of forest. Ideal, plus 20. Ideal, plus 20. I mean, it's getting us a net gain anywhere, so I don't have to be too picky. Okay, and how hard is it honestly going to be to get a beehive to get us up to the meter we need to be at? Well. Tougher than anticipated. There we go. Do we have any more ability to... Not really. Excavator. Yes. Why are you popping up so much? S solar amplifier. Not right now. Wait. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> so where did I put that? Reduce the cost of some buildings. Unlocks the ability to manipulate the region's climate. Okay. Should I adjust humidity? Ferns on riverbank. Optional goals. Salmon run is over 90%. Rain begins at 70. So this needs to be placed on a rock. Okay, so... Good, 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 good. That's pretty hot. I think we probably will want a calcifier over here instead. Wait, right, calcifier? It's a hell of a lot, though. Maybe we want it more like over... We'll pop it right in the middle. Too close to another cloud cedar... Wow, that... Okay, so it is... It's a pretty big radius, so I guess... I do wish that that was like a... Yeah, a little bit more... Clear there. So we could theoretically do this here if it had power. It's just not close enough. 5%? We can... We can tap this. But it's gonna be too close. Take the 6% of this. And I won't be able to do this one here? Oh, I can, and it's 5. Okay. All right. I'll take it, I'll take it. Too close to another cloud seeder, I assume? No. Just no energy. No energy. So I guess we'll want to pop another calcifier. More like over here. Do we? I don't know that I want that many rocks. I build like that many rocks, sure. Nice, clean 6%. We've begun rain. So we're not in the perfect posi pos position for bees right now, but we are in a position for bees. They can they can still function, it's just not gonna be ideal. Um let's uh, would you quit it? Ooh, free tiles! Absolutely free tiles. So they're just popping up naturally, and I don't even have to do anything. Maybe I just wait a sec. Let's just let's just wait a sec on this. We are able to create the ecosystem. Kind of naturally just growing now. It's it's really nice. I'm curious if we popped this down right now. This is for science. Will it continue to grow? With plant life and climate reestablished, the final step is to construct an airship by recycling your buildings. As you remove your presence, introduce Fauna to be the new custodians of this ecosystem. So yeah, as the new ones pop in, are they going to automatically be... Does not look like they're going to be automatically overgrown. 
Bin bows. All right. One moment. All right. Let's make the airship. Provides nothing. Requires nothing. Let's have it like kind of more in the middle. Recycling silo recycles other buildings and stores a portion of their cost. We're going to want to get all of them, so this is a little bit more important to, like, just tap everything. Like, it's more important to just get everything eventually in the radius. Collect. Collect. We've got a recycling drone. Travels along rivers to collect recycled material from loading docks. Oop. Loading dock. Loads recycled material from the surrounding buildings and silos into a recycling drone. Allows you to travel up and down waterfalls. So here's the thing. He's not going to make it here. Okay, good. Collect. So I can't... I can't make it here. Why? Oh, because this is this one's in the way. But when we do this, it'll clear up that path. These, we're going to have to figure out a way to... Like, fix that up. I think we'll just have to... Do that manually. Grab both of them. Animal Observatory allows use of a solar sonar ping to encourage animal species to move into a habitat that's appropriate for them. Sure. How about let's... Final step as recycling progresses is the reintroduction of animals. New animal species will help maintain the ecosystem long after your buildings are packed away. Animal species need to be scanned for. Open up the scanning panel here. Use these animal portraits to switch between animals and get a hint about where each species lives. Use this button to scan for the selected species. Each scan will give you... Yeah. Okay. You'll need to find suitable habitats for at least three animal species. Good luck. Okay. Requirement partially met in range of greenery. What about in range of water as well? No? Hmm. Oh, does it say up here? Lives in herds in wide open grassland? I mean, do we just, like... Boom. Done. Lives in the reeds of a wetland near a, a Finbo's field. Reeds of a wetland near a Finbo's field. This should be good. Frog. Uh, a forest which contains a beehive on a hill. I don't know that this is... I don't know if we have that. We have a beehive on a hill, but, like, it's not really... I wouldn't call it a forest. Uh, large lake. I mean... Would we classify that as a... In a lake. Not large enough? Is that the issue? Is the issue it's just not large enough? 
In a river near a forest. That should be workable. Not in range enough of a river. What about... There. Beaver. Boom. Three of three. Prowls in a forest near a source of prey. I mean... In range of prey. Is that not... Enough in a forest, though? I know I don't need another one, but... Now you're in the forest, but not in the range of prey. Is it because of the fact that it's, like... It's up on an extra hill? No prey. Okay. Okay. Got a timber wolf as well. I just want I, I just want to do it if we can. If we've got the limits. Forest with a beehive on a hill, like I would have to start a quote unquote controlled fire. Cause I don't think any of this is on a hill. The hill's up here. And I have yeah. I would have to start a controlled burn. And then I, I guess I just don't have a big enough lake for you. Seems to be the implication here. I doubt that's good enough. Maybe that, that could count. Maybe. My guess is for it to be big enough, it needs to be like covering the whole space. So I think, I think meeting the requirements is, is good enough. Water lilies blossom above 80. Well, I also need to make sure we pack up more. Loading dock. So that's in the way. We'll be able to get all this stuff out of here. Stuff that's inland a bit more. I think we just we just ooh, uh, ooh, we just pack her up. But the thing is, do we need to do this by? Yeah, we need to do this by those. That's the issue. We're gonna need to connect to it. Interesting, interesting. One sixty five. I mean it, you get so much back, it's really easy to get your your money's worth for doing it. So why well, okay, so I need to get I need a load lock. Load dock. Shoot. Wait, that was out of range of this? Doubt? I probably just did it in the wrong order then. Okay, we got some more rain again. Yeah, this is... This is the shameful thing. We kind of need to... Pop the, um... Where is it? Not the calcifier. Excavator, yeah. Pop the excavator down, and we'll need to do it... Probably on this side here. Which is what's tricky. Ooh. What, we, what are all those arrows for? What are you pointing at? You pointing like, hey, hey, pick all these things up? I'm aware they're currently landlocked, okay? Give me a second. I'm working on it. I think, yeah, I know it's gonna, we're gonna go backwards for a sec, but let's get a calcifier. Um, 
Not there. I'm trying to think of a spot that is gonna work because I can't rem I can't tell if there's water here or not. I think there is. No. The wetland stops right there, which is just going to be really tricky. D does that... does that reach? Dry riverbed? Is it really? It's still dry? Doubt, but okay. All right, so now we pack all that back up. Now that we can, um, we can grab everything. Would you stop? Okay, grab that all. It doesn't connect. It doesn't connect. Come on, man. Give me a break. You're making me ruin all this beautiful land again, again, again. All right. It definitely connects there. I see it with my eyes. Okay. That water should fill back up. And now, I swear, if we don't... It connects, but there was just not enough water. Not enough water yet, I guess. It's kind of tough to see behind here, you know? Yeah, it's just, it just wasn't enough water. No! <laughs> this is supposed to be relaxing. So this should absorb it all, just to make sure. Yes. Indeed. Grab that one. Get back here, is there anything hidden back in there? I don't think so. Should probably get an excavator. It's a blast here first, I suppose. The rain will come in to, uh, to fix it all back up anyways. Okay, hopefully it's still in radius. Good, perfect. Grab all that. And then these should be absolutely easy. Not much up there. All right. Good deal. And now we just get a zen out. As we fix up the last little bit. We could get more water lilies. Maybe it's worth looking into. We would need... But we would need what for that? Why does it keep on popping that up? Energy and... Should I should I bother? I'm ready to leave if I want. This that pop-up thing that, that goes on is super annoying. Yeah, I think it's just it says just go ahead, dude. It's nice. I, I like it. It's it's neat how you kind of deal with the sort of natural structure of it and it creates this really nice randomized kind of looking effect but you can you can visualize how exactly you did all of that yourself you know like you, you can picture w why these things happened appreciate oh cool oops done <laughs> i'm done i'm done appreciating it thank you just move on immediately 
Oh, it's so nice. They they know what they're doing with this, right? It's so good. But yeah, I do want to see what else there is here. What else is beyond? Valley of the Wind completes. Okay, so like River Valley is 57% complete. Gotcha. So like you would go there, you could go through, you could, if you get all the animals discovered, you do all the climate thresholds. River Valley, wait, oh. So, and if it looks like maybe if you complete that, you get like another type of thing. Tropical. Tropical climate has... What the heck? I'm going to go over here and just poke into this and look. What do we got in here? What does it look like? Clean the surrounding oceans and reintroducing plant life. Toxic scrubbers are integral as they cleanse both land and sea. Both greenery and clean ocean contribute towards your goal. Cle climate manipulation is possible from the outset here. Gotcha. So yeah, we just start out straight up like in a different spot. Like we got the water that is f absolutely filthy. Really neat. Completely different uh, end goals for, you know, what kind of animals and, and fauna we're going to plants and fauna we're going to introduce here. Very cool. Uh, you could even do the cloud cedar immediately. Crabs come back. Dragonflies, moss on rock faces. Like, oh, that's so cool. So cool. Really, really enjoy. It looks like you also have to manage temperature in this one, um, which is quite cool. But yeah, I just, it's such a nice game. I just, I can't recommend it enough. Even just like, if you're having a day that's just not feeling right <laughs> and you just want something to pop on just to like feel good, go through like a checklist kind of mentality, like just see something get cleaned up and get satisfied. It's so, so easy to recommend Terra Nil. I I really enjoy it. I I don't know. If you guys would like to see more of it, let me know in the form of a comment down below. It would not take a whole lot of convincing for me to play more Terra Nil, that is for sure. I think the game is lovely. I thought it was lovely two years ago, and I think it's extra lovely now, seeing how they took the, uh, well, like where they took the product in the full version. I, I am not disappointed in the slightest. Uh, yeah, I don't have any region progress that I actually particularly care about. Just want to look at that overworld again. So I would imagine, you know, maybe it's like one, two, three, four. Even if it's just the four, if you have that and you have the different um, potential versions of the modes and you can absolutely replay them, you know, because I believe it is a kind of a randomized uh, generated layout. So I don't know. Very, very cool. Check it out. Link in the top description. My name is Retromation. I typically cover uh, roguelikes and more, but this is the more. I am uh, I'm a big fan of you know, relaxing Zen games like this. You know, I, I enjoy a resource management game, a city building style game. Uh, and this is to an extent that, but alas, alas, that's that. It's going to do it for today. If you want to get notified when great new indies come out every single day, this is a great channel for you to be subscribed to upload all kinds of new showcases every single day. So you will always have cool games to check out. Thank you. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.